everyone and welcome back to Zoo Tycoon 2 or Dino Park and I am so excited to be back here. Oh my gosh, look at all the balloons we have. Look at all these balloons. Oh my goodness, these must be from like all the different births that we have had in the zoo and there have been a lot. Can I even get to these balloons? I don't even think I can get to them, but they're actually worth quite a bit of money. If you can wiggle down here. Oh, I can. Oh my goodness, look how many there are. I totally forgot they were over here. There we go. There we go. So that was a nice little influx of money. Oh, and look at the paintings on the side of this. I didn't even know that there were like little paintings on those sides there. And that's what I wanted to see was the awesome bats leave for the night on their daily hunting. And we are now entering the Dino Park where we've been doing quite a bit of upgrading. I'm pretty proud with what we've started to work with so far. But oh my gosh, there are so many problems that I need to try to work on fixing in this park since we first originally built it. And that kind of includes working on the water area over here. We do have the well sharks and while they are really cool we could probably use this for something else that's a little bit more suited to like prehistoric life. Um, oh my gosh what's all this? There's just a bunch of food boxes with zooplankton but maybe we could leave the well sharks there but I think we're gonna turn this into pretty much primarily just an aquatic sort of exhibit because we were trying to do it land and aquatic mix and our guests are always complaining about the fact they can't see any animals over here so I want to turn this into something a lot more interesting maybe add in some of the prehistoric eat my whale sharks and <laughs> just in case I could leave my whale sharks in there I'm not sure if I can look at the ankylosaurus adding an ankylosaurus in would be really cool too and I do want to add in more triceratops babies so that we can have have kind of a triceratops baby boom going on inside of the triceratops exhibit because if I could get them oh somebody else just had a baby who just had a baby um I think the dodo just hatched everybody else is complaining about being so close to things may not be uh, may not be able to reach the food dish well stop complaining you guys all right there you go I moved it I hope that helps oh somebody's break dancing over here I hope somebody will come. I want them to come play in the play dig pit. They've never played in it since I got all my mods and I don't know if they're just conflicting somehow or not, but I really want them to come and play in it. It's so much fun to watch them like dig up all the fossils and turn the fossils into these cool statues. So we'll leave them alone. Let's see. Oh yeah, and we've got our new little ones. We've got some new little girls in here. There's all females of these guys. I need to try to get them a male. Oh, somebody needed healed. What's the matter? What's the matter, little one? You shouldn't get sick. You're just running in circles. Can I help you? What is this all about? All right, come here. Oh gosh, are you stuck? Was that it? Oh, she was stuck in the water. The poor thing. She's like, I need insects. She's going for the food. Oh, do I have anything I can give her to get like, I, I just have like feeder balls and things like that to try to get her amusement level up. Let's get some squeaky toy research done. I'm surprised we don't have squeaky toys yet. All right, she should be good now. She's going to go rest in the small rock cave. So I think she'll be okay. We need some males of those guys. Um, And actually, did I lose all of my Smilodons? Do I still have my Smilodon female? I think I lost all my Smilodons to old age of all things. So I need to repopulate my Smilodon area too. And the Oviraptors are busy building a nest, which is great. Very happy to hear about that. They laid an egg, a little Oviraptor egg, sweet. All right, but let's go ahead, come down here. Oh, look at all of them. Hi guys. The whole community is gathered around to say hello to the egg, huh? Oh, there we go. There we go. Look at that, that is so cool. Isn't that just so neat? Oh my gosh. Is she still like laying the eggs? Where'd the eggs go? Where'd our eggs go? There was just a nest right here. Hello, buddy. You are quite cool looking. Where'd the eggs go? Oh, and they just moved like further under the, the little shade structure there. Jeez, that startled me. All right, so the eggs are laid for those guys. Let's go ahead. We're gonna try to get another Triceratops in really quickly, just because if you can keep doing the any of the extinct research lab creations it will renew your dna juice or whatever this is that you can use so let's go ahead triceratops let's see triceratops triceratops there we go triceratops right there all right so let's go ahead and create another animal Ooh, is the triceratops complicated i feel like the triceratops is more complicated all right left down click up right you'd think this would be easy but i actually have a very poor memory up down click right left and then when you know you're performing in front of a bunch of people it's quite amazing 
how this can get pretty intimidating. All right, up, click, down, left, right. Come on, help me out here. Like, no, get, get, research your eyebrows, help me out here. Oh, geez. All right, so left, down, click, left, right. All right, come on, come on, come on. All right, I can do this. Uh-huh. All right, come on. Oh, we're almost there with our new Triceratops. Up, right, click, left, down. All right. Uh, right, click, left, down. Uh, oh, thank goodness! We have Super Triceratops 3! Super animals are larger, healthier, and longer living than regular animals. Wonderful! Well, come here, Super Triceratops. It is another male. So we're gonna go ahead and put him down over here. Have lots of Triceratops roaming around. Some of you guys were like, they don't have enough space. Trust me, they have a lot of space. They really do. And they actually interact quite a bit with all of the different plants and trees and toys. So, let's see. This is number one. And as predicted, we're just gonna name her Tracy. Tracy the Triceratops. And I, she's gonna be a little while as a kid. Oh my gosh. What, I have a rampage? A Draco Rex rampage? What are you doing? How can I calm you down? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to like, how do I, do I have a team? I have a team for this, don't I? Oh, here they go. Here they go, the team is coming out. These are the agents, the dino capture robots. Oh boy. Oh boy. Whoops, they're walking by now. Oh goodness. All right. The robot is like running in front of everybody else. Look at him go. Dino capture robot on his way. Rest of the team rushing by. The guy at the back, he kind of takes his time. All right, let's go with them. How are they getting in? Are they coming around the back? All right, what's going on? Where's the robot? All right, so here's the rampaging dino. Oh, what's this? Is this a little nest? Rampaging dino. Maybe I need to clear some of the plants out of here. I think there's too many plants. Let's clear out some plants so I can see what the heck's going on. All right, here's this. And then, what are you doing over here? How do these guys keep escaping from their exhibit, I wonder? I have no idea. All right, let's come down. Is everybody calm down? Oh, somebody's playing with a little toy. Is the Draco Rex calm down? Is this him? No? All right, why are they all walking around in circles? Oh, here we go, I think she's getting him. There we go, they calmed him down. Rampage is over, whoops. Man, I keep clicking on all the wrong things. Okay, Rampage is over. That is so worth it to have our little, like, dino team. Where is that guy even going? Sir, I feel like you didn't do much in this entire situation. Not gonna lie. Look at him! Last one in here, he's like, oh, my work here is done. Well, she already came in and took care of it for us. Alright, so she's down here too. Draco Rex Rampage team. Oh, he had to come over. You don't have to just shoot it full of more tranquilizers just to prove you did your job. I question his work ethic. Alright, so there we go. Draco Rex Rampage. Quelled. Look at their outfits. I don't get to see these guys very often, so it's really fun to see them again. Alright, and there's the little robot. Alright, and let's go ahead and see what's going on. People are complaining. These little ones are complaining. Alright, maybe I'll take away some of the plants in here, too. Imagine that, Siri's actually clearing out plants, but yes I am. Because it's hard to see where these guys are, it's hard to see what they're up to, where they're hiding their eggs. There we go. I actually like that a lot better. So you can tell like my style and how I decorate has changed a lot since we last like worked over in this area. Alright, so there we go, Triceratops is good. Look, we're four and a half stars now, yay! All right, Triceratops is hopefully good, and hopefully they're amusing and adorable, and I need to give them a little bath. Hello, buddy. There you go. Good little scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. right, everybody over here seems okay. And let's go ahead, and we're going to get to work on the aquatic zone then, because I really do want to turn this into something where the guest can see quite a few things. They can enjoy some of the aquatic creatures. I don't think any of the aquatic creatures that we would have to pick from... Um, would be ones that do, 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 won't eat. No, don't do that. That won't eat my whale sharks, though. So that is my one concern. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to raise this up quite a bit. The whale sharks are going to be like, oh my goodness, what's going on? Changing over here. And let's raise the bottom of the tank up quite a bit. Oh, look at that. It's kind of amazing how we just changed everything so significantly. Um, 
Let's see, why is the water not coming up? I need more water. Come on, water. There we go. And we want it right here. And let's go ahead and lower a little bit more. There we go. All right, I think that should do good. And hopefully this will make it, oh, I have a little paleontologist. He's just wa waiting for a job, huh? Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and we'll let him go because I think all of our paleontologists have pretty much already found everything they can at the current level. Here's something that they didn't dig up though. Oh, apparently this can't be dug up. Oh, there we go. What did I find? Oh, it was, was it a fossil? I can't even see. Oh yeah, it was a stegosaurus. It was a piece of a stegosaurus fossil. Interesting. All right, so our wall sharks now have this area. There's fish, it's a beautiful exhibit. I really think it should attract a lot of people, but we need more things in it. So let's see, what could we put into a reef exhibit? Anything prehistoric? Well, we have ammonites. We could add in some ammonites. I don't think that they're gonna try to eat my wall sharks. Um, we have this guy. What does he eat? I think he eats meat. Well, he, I don't think he'd try to eat my whale sharks, so we could add him in. Mainly, maybe like a coelacanth would be much deeper water, but for reefs and things like this, I could add in some normal fish too. There's my little whale shark, who's super happy. We could add in some pretty, like, just reef fish as well. So, you know what, let's do that. Let's release some ammonites. Um, are they, I think that they come modded, so let's put a couple of them in bunch of ammonites. In fact, let's just put in a whole bunch of them. There we go. And those guys can swim around. And then I'm gonna release a bunch of like the fish. Just some random fish to fill the area up because people love fish. Some red lion fish even. We'll just put in a whole bunch of fish. Now remember with the modded fish you always only want to use one gender because they don't die of old age and they will breed and breed and breed to the point where it just slows your entire game down to a crawl. That's why we've had to give up so often on our marine exhibits. All right, I want a lot of the blue tangs because blue tangs are very pretty. And we'll put in a couple clownfish. And here's a bunch of purple queens because the purple queens are very pretty. All right, then we'll put in some royal angelfish. And now we should definitely have something quite lovely with the ammonites and everything. See, and this kid's coming over. He's going to the donation box. Maybe he'll be able to see some of the really cool like fish and new things that we've added in here. All right, let's come down. Oh, look at this. We're making quite the lovely reef exhibit. Oh, and look at our ammonites. Hello, buddy. He's snoozing. He's snoozing inside his little shell. Look at that. Oh, that's actually really cute. All right, I'm gonna, oh, and there's our whale sharks again. All right, come on. Oh, I was swimming with the ammonite. I was like, what just happened? Look at him. Look at the beautiful fish. Oh, and look at the ammonites. Oh, you're so pretty. I want to get just a little bit closer to you. My parents have a lot of these shells because they really love uh, fossils and shells and things like that. And my parents have quite a lot of these guys in shell form. All right, let's see. And let's swim up here. See how you guys are doing. Groom. Good. Groom. Pretty much everybody needs groomed. All right, let's swim down here. Lots of zooplankton. There we go. Man, I do love the these exhibits. What? Draco Rex 9Y! Another rampage! Oh, geez. And Super Draco Rex. You know what? I'm kind of tempted just to get rid of the Draco Rex. They're not very scientifically accurate. You can't make them very happy. So I think we're going to go ahead and we'll get rid of them. And that's the empty nest. We'll get rid of them and we will redo their entire exhibit to fit like a different creature. So we're just going to start clearing this area out so I can find where the Draco Rex are hiding. And then after this guy is taken care of because he's on rampage mode right now, which means we have to wait for a rampage team to come by. I don't think I can take care of him. But after he's taken care of, then we will go ahead and we will put something new in here because these guys are not, they're really like not anywhere close to being scientifically accurate. And I'm okay with that sometimes, but these guys kind of bug me a little bit because of it. So we'll go ahead and put somebody new in here. All right. And we'll take out all of these plants, which will hopefully make it a little less laggy. There we go. So this will be tended to, and we will refill it with a new creature in a little bit. Uh, let's see if I can actually go ahead and make another triceratops now. I can. Yes, another triceratops. Let's make another one of these guys really quickly, though. 
I want to see if I can get like a male from my little my little group of females. I have a little flock of females of these guys. And I don't have a male yet. I'm pretty sure I don't have a male. Oh no, it's in the water and it can't swim again. Oh no, is this a female or a male? Uh, it's another girl. <laughs> All right, so it's another girl to, to join the rest of these guys. And I'm gonna have to get rid of the water in here because they can't swim. They can't swim, you guys. Oh no. Okay, so let's come in. Gosh, there's a lot of plants over here that I can take out too. Like I said, you learn you learn as time goes on that the less points you have, the more likely your game isn't gonna crash on you. So we'll just clear some of those out of the way. A couple of these out of the way. A lot of these can stay though. They're very pretty. All right, less is more sometimes. Oh, this is it's always a little hard for me to do this, but there we go. And now the guests will be able to see everybody better. All right, and we're gonna go ahead, and I think we made this originally like a mangrove area and they seemed pretty happy in it actually they don't seem to have too much issues so we're just gonna go ahead do, 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 do. there turn this all into a bunch of land that they can now have and hopefully we'll be able to keep them a little bit happier because they won't be drowning all the time there it's out of water and that'll actually let us go ahead and we can get some hollow logs with insects and things like that put in there for them too which I think should make them happier as well. So yay! All right, hollow log with insects we can put down. Like they've got lots of toys and everything over here now. There, and she's taking care of this little one. There you go. Now you're gonna have an insect log in there soon instead. And I'll put down some ferns around the insect log in the future. So they should be happier. All right, and let's see, how are our triceratops doing? Slowly but surely growing up. I wonder how much they're worth to adopt out. I'll have to check that out sometime. So we need some names for the male Triceratops. Oh, look at him play with his little toy. The dinosaur prey dummy, so cool. We need some names for the males. Should I add some more fish and things? Let's see, oh, now we can create another animal. All right, oh, look, people are starting to come over to view all these guys. Yay, that's what I wanted. Let's go ahead, we're gonna clear this out because we don't need it there. And yeah, I might add in a lot more of the giant kelp or some rocks to try to make it look nicer. It's always very difficult to make the, um, it just, to me at least, is always very difficult to make the marine exhibits look as nice as we really want because of the lag it can cause, adding in all the rocks and all of the other things, but we'll figure it out. All right, and our woolly rhinos <laughs> are still doing well over in this corner. So let's come over, and then I was actually gonna try to make a female Carn Carnotaurus, and let's go ahead and try that. Ooh, hopefully I can do this right. Up, left, down, left, right. Down, left, right, there we go. Yay, somebody's pregnant, woohoo! Man, it stays busy in our dino zoo, doesn't it? All right. All right, and then click down, up, left, right. I know it seems so easy when you're not the one driving. Oh gosh, oh, come on, I was hoping I was done. All right, up, down, left, click, right. All right, up, down, left, click, right. Am I done? Yay, all right. Now, is it a female or a male? That is what we need to find out. It is a female. So good, that's what we wanted. So we'll put her in with our male, who's over here. What on earth is he up, like, what is he doing? What is he up to? Hi, buddy, oh, I think he was getting a drink. Look at the size of him. Isn't he magnificent? I love him, I love him. All right, let's go check on our little girl. You are a brave woman being in here. All right, we'll wash her. Fill up the, the feeder device. Oh, look at him. Look at him stomp through there. Doesn't that just look fantastic? Isn't that just like perfectly beautifully intimidating? When he's just like stomping past you? I like it. Are you gonna growl? He's like, no, 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 he's just gonna scratch his head. That's so cute. But all right, so we have added a couple Triceratops or at least one Triceratops in here. Oh, I think he grew up. There we, or she grew up. Tracy has now reached adulthood, which is wonderful. And she's pooping right on the Jeep to her path. That's fine. I've got a zookeeper already on it. Oh, was that my, oh, they're finally reaching home. <laughs> My rampage team is finally going back where they belong in their little rampage corner. Uh, this kid apparently wants to try to join the rampage team because they're like trying to get in there. What's wrong with you, Chris? Apparently he was stuck. 
Chris, can I take care of you? Oh my gosh, kid. Uh, let's frantically, here's a restroom. Here you go. Here you go, you desperately need this, don't you? All right, so hopefully Chris Meadows will be okay. No, he's done. He's had enough. He's had enough. All right, I'll escort him to the front, past the bats, because he needs to go home now. But all right, you guys, so we'll continue working on everything, adding in more creatures, researching more fossils, and hopefully adding more dinosaurs in next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.